If you're building websites using WordPress and ACF, it makes sense to make your editing experience as easy and feature rich as possible. Those little bits of polish that help create a more unified app-like experience can be a huge bonus to the end user. Today, in my short series on free tools that can expand what can be achieved with ACF, I'll be taking a look at ACF Quick Edit Fields. This useful little plugin makes editing your custom fields quicker and easier, and best of all, you can also add in extra columns, make them sortable, and a lot more. So let me just take you over now and show you how to use this free plugin. So this one, ACF Quick Edit Fields, is a super useful little way of creating custom columns inside your dashboard where you can add in your custom fields, you can sort things, you can do quite a few different things with this, it's super useful. It is absolutely free, works with pro and free version of ACF as long as it's five plus, so there's no reason why you shouldn't want to take a look at this to make sure you can improve your user experience when working with ACF. I've gone ahead, installed this, and I just want to quickly show you what it's like. So this is the post section in the dashboard. And as you can see, we have a new column on the right hand side called custom color. Inside there, we have the values that have been assigned to these individual posts. And you'll also notice that we can choose to sort this either ascending or descending. So we can simply click and you can see now they'll go into alphabetical order from B through to Y, or we can flip it the opposite way. Super useful, and we can do this with quite a few different field types, numeric, those kinds of things. So that's the first thing. You can enable or disable these on a sort of like feature by feature basis. So you don't have to enable everything. So you might find you have longer information and you don't want to include that in the columns. Well, you can just exclude that and I'll show you how to do all that in a moment. Now, what we can also do is we can click to quick edit any of these and you'll see we now have extra fields for search, which is my custom meta field type. And inside there, you can see we've got the custom color, which I've assigned. So this is the custom meta field and that's basically how you use it. We now have quick editing of various different meta fields. Let me just show you now how you go about doing this. Let's create and add our own field in. So to come out of custom fields into our field groups and I'm gonna open up the field group I've created. Inside there, there's our custom color, and you can see it is just a typical custom field. So I'm going to add a new field in this time, and we're just going to call this price. It doesn't really matter too much. And we're going to change the field type, and we can set that to be a number. And from there, we can come down, and we now have some extra options available. So you can easily just configure everything the way you want, like you normally would. And then what we're going to do is we're going to update this or save it if it's a new one. And then we're going to open it back up. Scroll down and you'll see now we have extra options that are specific to the plugin we just installed. Now you do have to save it first, these don't automatically show up, so that's just something to bear in mind if you install it and you wonder why nothing's happening when you create your fields, your meta fields. But what we have is a range of different options now that allow us to configure exactly how this is going to work. Show column, sortable column, the column weight, quick edit and bulk edit. What do they mean? What do they do? Well, show column, as its name would suggest, will show or hide this column inside the post section for this example. Obviously, if you are creating custom post types or you're associating this with something else like you know pages or media, it would show up in the relevant section on those particular post types. So we're gonna say, yes, we want to show this column because it's gonna be a useful column. Do we want to make it sortable? Like you just saw in my example, we can enable or disable this, very easy. Your column weight is just basically the position inside that structure. So in other words, you've got your title first, then you've got maybe your featured image, and then you've got other different things where you can set different values inside you to control exactly what order these columns are going to be displayed in. Now, it's not the most elegant solution. And if you've ever used anything like Admin Columns or Admin Columns Pro, that has a nicer drag and drop way of working. But it will do what it needs to do. And once you've set it, you can basically forget it anyway. I'm going to leave that as it is because I'm not too bothered. Then the next two options, Quick Edit and Bulk Edit. Do you want to enable or disable them? Quick Edit, as you saw, will show it when you want to quickly edit anything you want. And I would say keep this to smaller, simpler values. So prices is great, you know, things like that. And you have a range of different options you can work with. If we hop back over to here, you can see it, it does support things like text, number, and so on. So it is useful. And we can enable that if we want to. And then the bulk edit is basically, do you want to allow to select multiple different posts in this example and be able to bulk edit the values inside there? Again, you can set that if you think it's viable and relevant to what you're doing. I'm gonna leave that one disabled for this example. And we're just gonna simply come back up and hit update. 
We've now added in our new field, so we're going to come back over to our posts and take a look at all our posts. And there you can see we have the price. Now, obviously, no values have been assigned to anything right now, so we can easily come in and say, quick, edit this, and we're going to drop in a price. So we'll just call this 999, for example. We'll update that, and then we should have, there we go, there's our first value in there. So we'll do it again, so we'll just quick edit, and we'll set this one to 599, and we'll update that. And now we can start to sort these if we want to, so we can just set them ascending or descending, depend upon what we want to do. And it really is as simple as that. Again, it's another one of those super useful little free plugins that expands what you can do with ACF inside the dashboard just to make it even more usable and easy, easier to work with. So how cool is that? A nice, useful and free plugin to make your WordPress dashboard and ACF feels more intuitive for your website user. Now be sure to check out the video that's on screen right now, super useful and helps you get your ACF meta fields to be found in your WordPress searches. As always, all of the applicable links are in the description below and if you found this video useful, be sure to hit that thumbs up because it really does help. But if you didn't find it useful, well you can hit that thumbs down twice because that seems to work pretty well too. As always, my name's been Paul C, this has been WP Tuts and until next time, take care.